He does these five things when he wants a relationship. In this video, you will discover what to look out for to know if this man is worth continuing to invest time and energy into or if you should move on. Hey, I'm Antje Boyd with Magnetize Your Men and together with my hubby Brody, we've been helping thousands of successful women all over the world to get a committed, long-term and connected relationship that they desire fast. So let's go ahead and dive right in. One thing he does when he wants a relationship with you is he makes you a priority. I like to emphasize that. Let me give you a little bit of a backstory. I had a woman come the other month. And she was telling me, as a matter of fact, actually, I have those women come quite a bit lately. But here's how the story goes. You know, they start meeting a guy. Usually, they were married before. They're sort of, you know, like, they, you know, they have kids, but um, the kids are older. And they meet this man. And this man is, you know, excited about them. And they write consistently to each other. And maybe they talk, maybe they go on occasional dates. But the man is sort of using his kids as a shield. And this is how the story goes, right? So it's like constantly about, you know, so-and-so soccer game got moved or, you know, the mom, you know, I mean, obviously sex, ex-wife, uh, he has like some struggles with and he has to, you know, he has to please her too and because they still own the house together. And I mean, it just goes as excuse, 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 um, and while I'm definitely not poo-pooing um, true parent responsibilities, you do want to be aware of, you know, um, when a man wants a relationship with you, he does make you a priority. Look, if little Johnny, you know what I mean, has a soccer game, then he's going to make it up, meaning the man, right? Like he's going to make it up with you um, and, and by inviting you to a nice restaurant or, you know, doing something special for you. So he will find a way because men are problem solvers. And so he will be able to do both. Or he will also be able to set boundaries with his kids and say, you know what, it's also about daddy's happiness as well, that I'm actually a huge believer in, that the kids also see, hold on, my parents weren't just sacrificing the heck out of themselves and now I need to sacrifice the heck out of myself for my kids and for everyone else, right? But rather they see, hey, you know what? My parents also closed their bedroom door, you know, for a few hours. Or my parents also set boundaries um, and weren't like always, you know, always there 24-7. Of course, when you're older, you know, not when you're getting, you know, your attachment style set or so, right? But I'm saying, you know, 10 years or older, things like that. So he makes you a priority. He will go the extra mile and he wants you to know that you know that. The next thing he does when he wants a relationship with you is he balances the different versions inside of him. Now, I've done a video on um, you balancing the different versions inside of you, but guess what? men have different versions inside of themselves as well. So for example, you may have gone to a wedding before and the man was telling the bride, you make me a better man. Can we actually break that down, what that means? This means, look, I was expressing certain versions of inside of myself. Maybe I was in my inner boy. I was trying to get away from stealing the cookie from the cookie jar and kind of slacking off and just kind of, you know, being potentially slightly disrespectful or not as reliable or not as, you know, as manly as I could have been or not much going out of my way, right? But when he wants a relationship with you, he will actually step into the other versions of himself. So for example, maybe he's going to take more responsibility for his life. Meaning because he wants to, of course, you know, you have integrity to yourself and he wants to show you that he has integrity as well. Now that would be the king energy inside of himself, right? Just really think about, yeah, what is my purpose? Why am I here? What is my mission? What is my vision? and so on, because he sees like, look, I'm dealing with a queen, so I'm better step up and step into my king, right? Or maybe he's been like working a lot and, you know, and you just very also like sort of in your lover energy and you invite him unconsciously, you know, to 
tap more into his lover energy, right? Potentially slow it down a little bit, you know, enjoy the journey, smell the roses, be present with you. So that's what happens when he wants a relationship with you. He will actually stretch himself, right? He will be, he is almost like he's going to surprise himself. Like his friends would tell him, who are you? Like, what is happening with you, right? But the truth is, he's just more self-actualizing. Those parts have always been inside of himself, but they were potentially a little harder to tap into, or maybe he has a story around it because, you know, he had a certain upbringing. But because of you, he's so inspired that he steps up to the plate and that he taps into the other capacities that he has inside of himself Believe me, girlfriend, every man has those versions inside of himself. Now, the next thing a man does when he wants a relationship with you is he actively wants to meet your friends and family. Now, okay, let me make that distinction because uh, there's men who talk about wanting to meet your friends and family. And this sounds something like this. Oh, yeah, I, well, I can't wait for Christmas to meet your family. And oh my God, it would be so fun to meet your friends or to go on a vacation. But it would be, it's sort of like a potential. Now, what I'm talking about is when a man wants a relationship, he actually wants to meet your friends. So he's literally saying, hey, how about we meet with your friends this this Friday? We could go have happy hour, for example, right? Or we could go bowling together. I'd love to meet your friends. So he's going to be very specific about wanting to meet your friends. Or he's going to be like, hey, when are you seeing your family the next time? And, um, you know, I'd love to join you or whatever the case may be, right? But he's going to be very specific and he wants to pinpoint a date and he's going to make it like he's actively as opposed to passively wanting to meet your friends and family. And you know why? Well, because he's curious, like, who is this woman who that is in front of him? Like, where is she coming from? You know, you see, you may have noticed already that you learn a lot about the other person when you spend time with the family, right? Like, out of the sudden, you realize, oh, wow, they're really outspoken. They're really, you know, um, yell at each other or just, right, wow, my family is more, we just kind of brush things under the carpet and, you know, we're just kind of more passively aggressive, right? Uh, wow, they're like outright aggressive. Or they're like, whoa, I mean, okay. And that kind of tells you kind of like what you're getting yourself into. So the man wants to know where you're coming from. And he also wants to know, am I in good graces <laughs> with her parents? If he really cares about you and he wants a relationship with you, like he, will, he will want to know, hey, you know what I mean? Like are the parents on board with that? Because that would be important. To me, and the same is true, of course, with friends as well, right? And also, you know, we, we sometimes really think, hey, if I become friends with the friends, we all know how this goes, right? Then her friends will advocate for me, <laughs> you know? So we, I'm getting like some extra support on my side as well. But he will only do that when he wants a relationship with you. The next thing a man does when he wants a relationship with you, he shares his feelings authentically. Now, this is a huge topic because, you know, oftentimes you may meet men and they have sort of like the surface personality, right? They have just sort of this surface persona. You're sort of, sort of like Mr. Cool, everything is good in the hood, right? And I remember like when I started dating my husband, he was a little bit like that too, you know what I mean? Um, but when we were actually, after one and a half months or so, um, you know, we started to have like, sort of deeper-ish conversations. I remember the deepest was actually for him saying, um, I have, like, I have feelings of love for you, right? So that's actually realized, oh, he, wa he really wants to have a relationship with me. And when he said it, it wasn't just because what he said, but he said how he said it. Because it's, it didn't sound anymore. It was like, Mr. Cool, all is good, you know? I got it all under control. But it was very authentic. It was really heartfelt. It was very vulnerable. So a man will go to that extent when he wants a relationship with you. But if he stays sort of like on the surface, you know, there's something where he still wants to protect himself and he is not completely fully trusting himself or he's not fully trusting 
you. And this may not necessarily about you, but this may be about his attachment style pattern, his dynamics that he had in the past with relationships. It could also be about his energy type, all of that and more. I'm going to go into my um, magnetized human process. But there's a lot of complexity that goes into understanding like, okay, why is a man not cheating the feelings right now? Or why is that important? Why is that not important? Um, so one thing is for sure that he can't help but share his feelings, his authentic feelings with you when he wants a relationship. Because I feel also unconsciously at least he wants you to share your authentic feelings with him as well so that he knows that you're on the same page. The next thing a man does when he wants a relationship with you is he supports your goals. Now this has to be one of my favorites because I have heard many stories where the man was competing with the goals by right? where the woman was like, going to a certain university or she was like starting to be promoted in her career and particularly this is true when you end up in sort of a narcissistic relationship right because the man started to put her down and to say actually you know what this job is actually not really for you and this job you know i don't think is the right you know like it's not going to help our relationship and so on right so he's trying to take power away from you now when a man wants a relationship with you the reason why i preface that first is because you may have gone through that. Um, because when the man wants a relationship with you, he will support your goals. So don't question yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Don't second guess yourself, girlfriend. Right? It's really about him feeling secure inside of himself on his own path that he will support you in your goals. No matter if that's if you want to be the next uh, female Tony Robbins. <laughs> you know what I mean? You want to be the CEO of some sort of company or you want to, whatever the goal may be. He's going to be like, I believe in you. You know, like, I'm here for you. Like, you you can do this. Let me know how else I can support you. He may come up with, like, fun ideas, creative ideas to support you because he supports you in your goals. He checks in with you. How did the meeting go? Do you want to role play something? He also problem solves for you, right? That's why it's also never works when a woman is constantly thinking that she wants to support her man in his goals, but he never even asks for it. Right, like I had like clients who are, you know, were starting to write even like legal documents and things like that to help him with a certain process legally, and but he never asked for it, right? And it's more like about like allowing him to support your goals. So like we're naturally supportive. Women are naturally supportive. But you really trust yourself, especially if you come from an abusive background, if you come from a narcissistic background, or even from a dismissive background. Like to know that when a man wants a relationship with you, he will be your biggest cheerleader. By now you may have discovered that when a man wants a relationship with you, he comes from a secure place. Why? Well, because he wants the best for you, right? Because he, when you feel good, he feels good. Like his, your magnified feelings are then also reflected back to him. So who doesn't want to feel good? And that is the truth as opposed to like selling, selling yourself short uh, because a man was trying to dim your light and you thought he wants a relationship with you, but he was simply insecure and afraid of your power. Next, if you haven't yet, take my free love quiz and virtual coaching session to get a committed, long-term and connected relationship that you want fast without loneliness, trust issues and attracting emotionally unavailable men by simply hopping over to getlovequiz.com or you can also pop that right here in the comment or description section. I had so much fun. Hope this video helped you. Lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye.